Hello everybody and welcome back to another tutorial and uh, this will be the second part of the uh, very stiff aperture and shutter speed ring in my Nikomat FTN and it's the second part and um, yeah we I have cleaned the uh, the different parts not really this uh, one uh, maybe it will need some um, it's the max aperture scale ring uh, which has this uh, resistance I thought it was some capacitive over here but it doesn't <clears throat> it's uh, a resistance um, area here and this is just a sliding sliding contact area where the uh, brush um, I think it's this brush yeah it goes uh, it slides against the the uh, max aperture scaling oh difficult word hmm. now I just need to clean a little of this off uh, so it uh, has a better contact and I will use some isopropyl alcohol 99% um, not much, but just as it is uh, more cleaner than it was. And there are some, of course, it's uh, sturdy, this old camera. So I think it will be fine for now. And the brush itself also needs some cleaning. So that's it. And now we can actually put things together. And I will start with the uh, with the shutter speed scale ring uh, with the shutter A gear ring. They are connected together with the, with the pins here, three. And it's not really meant to uh, be taken apart. As you might remember, I said in the in the very beginning of the video, in the first part, I said a scratch here, which is a little arrow, and it has to go uh, with the same area here on the um, on the shutter B gear, and this mark is important um, because then things are aligned correct. Uh, I found out that uh, well the uh, all the parts here on the front the uh, shutter speed ring the aperture uh, scale ring and uh, so on was uh, really stiff but there's also more inside here somewhere in here or maybe up where here because I recognized when I was in, in the camera that the um, the exposure uh, scale, something in here, uh, that the, the string that is connected to it. So when you move the, the um, shutter scale, uh, shutter, shutter speed scale ring, when you move it, um, it should also move when you look into the viewfinder somewhere around here on the back and uh, it also need to be done but for now this one turns out to be really good and I think I will uh, use some very very little amount of uh, liquid molly it's uh, MOS2 MOS2 uh, grease which is really good in many cases and I would just add a little on a cotton bud uh, and uh, very lightly uh, put it on uh, different parts of it. And uh, if we look here, uh, we can just put it on here. Doesn't have to be that correct for now, but uh, you can see the surface uh, that need some grease 
um, it will be something I think it's somewhere here around and it doesn't have to be much just a tiny amount maybe it also have to have let's see yeah it also have to have something uh, here in this area here because this it's a uh, slide against the um, the area here and also the um, the area down here so uh, I can just add a little doesn't have to be much a little will do a lot so it doesn't really seem to be much but um, when I put it on and then just put it correct as it should I think uh, things will turn out to be really good yeah wow feels good <laughs> and as you can see it has at the grease where it should be and only a very little so it's all for now um, and I think it will be enough it feels much better when moving the uh, uh, shutter speed scale ring or just the shutter ring I guess it's also the correct name and uh, then you have to align the two marks which we set on the um, shorter peak uh, gear and on the uh, shorter A gearing which here so that's fine and also remember <laughs> to set the wire the green wire through the the notch here the gap here if not uh, you will damage the the wire now then we can now uh, maybe maybe I think I will do a different thing I will put on the um, the ASA uh, the resistor brush ring it has the name and uh, because it was very very stiff before I took it apart but if we put it on now it will I mean it will be so good so it turns just turn it very lightly and uh, I will just add a really little um, grease on this on the edge only doesn't have to be much maybe it's not really necessary but I, I will do it anyway and let's see it also have to yeah I will put on some grease on the uh, ASA friction spring when I put this in so now this is ready and uh, I can just put in this two spring and add some just a little of uh, grease just a tiny amount so oh <laughs> That should be enough and then the ring goes in and uh, remember the uh, I set it to um, in the beginning I set the index ring ASA index ring at to something uh, 1600 ASA so it will be the same again when I put it in just have this tiny spring sit here 
And then, as I mentioned also in the other video, there is a gap or cut out somewhere here. And uh, it will slide over the, the other spring here. So first I will just put this in. So, there. And uh, gently put it on. Something like that. I guess no, this has to be a little more. So, there. And then the the other spring will come in. So and then the spring goes in here. And just add a little reach for that. Oh, come on, little fellow. No. <laughs> okay, so there. And then, because uh, I need to press down the, the spring a little, so when putting in the, I mean, putting on the, the um, resistor brush spring, it, uh, it will just sit correct. I mean, the spring will also sit correct. So we just need to... Hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Maybe it's just better to press the finger on the... Uh, on the regular spring and then put in the, the ring itself. Not easy. Hmm. Maybe another tool can be useful. And the ASA has to sit on 1600 so now, here we are. And then I should be able to do that. Press it in and then press it down. <laughs> now it works. And to the test, how will it work? Wow. Seems to be much better. Yeah. I think it's fine. And uh, now you can actually move the the ASA. Not too soft. I mean, not too soft movement, but you have to use a little force. But now it works. Wow, that's great. So now I can uh, simply put the this ring on. And remember to align the uh, the mark for the for the uh, on the shutter A uh, gearing and the shutter B gear. So now it sits where it should, and wow, much better. Aha. So it should work. Since I do not have a battery lit, uh, I don't know if the meter is working. So, um, but I guess, I guess so. Yeah. Now the next thing is the um, the resistor brush. No, it's the max aperture scale ring. <laughs> Sorry, uh, has to come on, and it will also need some very light grease um, maybe it's the wrong grease but I think this grease is simply a fantastic thing 
and we only need to have it on the uh, on the edge here um, as I see it just a little and it will also be spread as long as you move the parts Oh, maybe a little too much here. Hmm. That doesn't have to be too much on this. So, I think it will be fine for now. And then, to put this ring on, uh, be careful of the of the little brush here and also on the other brush here so if I can put it on a better view here so you better can see what's going on now on with this uh, ring no 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 not yet <laughs> of course I miss some one part just need to have the base no not yet <laughs> yeah I think it will be with this uh, yeah as long as here and then the wire here so you put it down here first to this um, over the brush here I have my mark here which I said in the beginning with the brush so the brush has to facing upwards put it on here and then press gently and put it on here give it some movement so the grease can be spread a little and now a little um, where was it the name of it yeah the lens lock <laughs> uh, lever pin can also come on here and maybe I should just uh, solder the wire into the uh, into the bayonet base with a little solder point here and then I can add the uh, lens lock lever after and um, yeah I think I also will give it a very lightly uh, grease here nay I think yeah I think it's good to give it give the um, max aperture scale ring just a little fragment of um, grease around here I'll just wipe away the rest of it but it also needs some not really that much So, I think it will be fine for now. And that's uh, it there. You can always wipe away the rest of it. And then solder the, uh, the wire here to, to the uh, bayonet base. bend it a little so you can have a better view on it and that's it so now I can add my little 
pin uh, what do you say <laughs> the uh, lens lock lever and it is a little tricky to put on but uh, with a um, a dented tweezer like this one you have a better control of, of putting in in here catch the two notches there and And we will just try again. Hmm. So there. And I think it, it will work. Yeah, here we are. And the pin is working. So. Wow. Look how easy it is to move. That's great. Well, it took a little longer <laughs> than I expected. But uh, it will be fine. Mm -hmm. So we are almost safe home. I mean the screw heads here and those damaged screw are really not good. But whew, it works as it should. So don't screw them in yet uh, fully because then we can just uh, align the whole thing, correct? So let's see, wow, <laughs> it works and this ring is much better, wow, now it can fully turn as it should. Let's see if the ASA ring, now you can actually move it without any problem. Uh -huh. How good is that? Then tighten the screws. And that's it. So now, uh, let's see the um, The what the name of that ring is the um, oh where was it the diaphragm coupling ring comes on and it, oh we have to just do one thing the um, the coupling stopper has to sit there. Can only sit in one position. There. So. Don't tighten it yet. Because uh, when I move the the. Uh, hmm. What was the name? Oh, <laughs> yeah, the max aperture scale <laughs> ring. That's what they said in the repair manual. So that's the only word I know about it. So now you can see works really good. And I can tighten the two screws here gently. Wow, smooth and nice. Um, oh, that's really good. 
works much much better and smooth then the um, the bayonet springs comes on and there are three of them and oh gosh I just need a tweezer here to make it a little easier fellow yeah there I don't I'm not sure if the the people who have been in here they have they have used different screws for different uh, areas here so I don't I'm not quite sure if it uh, if it's the correct so maybe the um, I just think maybe the the diaphragm coupling ring comes on now before the the, the actual spring here bayonet spring but I think I will just do it over the little post with the one end of the spring. Which can be a little tricky. Now, is it so? It's difficult to come on. And there it is. So now, works fine. And also remember to put the the spring into the I mean under has to sit something like that and uh, the spring has going in the uh, in this area here so put it over and it has to be a little round So it's, it should be able to put it on, just on here. And there's something yeah. So now here we are. Wow. It works so much better. That's amazing. So the spring can do what it has to do. Yeah, that's fine. And then the bayonet spring comes on. one so it's not that hard to actually repair this but uh, to figure out how it should sit uh, hmm, it was not that easy oh, see <laughs> it's good the mirror is up that's why it is so could you can just flip up the mirror of course I could have done it in the beginning but um, as I did not drop anything on the mirrors though there is no problem so there fine Tighten the screws, not too much. Then 
there and there. So, and then I can add the little, the little click spring. It can only sit in one position. So I can just take it all the way over here and let it stay there. Maybe give it a little, just a tiny amount of of uh, grease. So there. That's all fine. And then I think it's maybe better to put in the short end first. Something like that here, have a finger on, and then put it on. No, it will not work. Something like that. Then slide it in over. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, that was unexpected. So maybe it's just better to put the spring on first. <laughs> okay, yeah. Well just take the spring out <laughs> again. <laughs> yeah, not easy. What if I do this function here? Is it possible that it will? Um, can we do a new nothing? Okay, I will just do it again. And of course, the this little um, ratchet claw here on the back has to. I mean the the uh, diaphragm coupling ring has to sit correct. Hmm. Where was it here? Something here. Nope. Okay. Maybe I can press down the this little part here. Oh, here it is. Okay, one was it? There's something wrong here <laughs> that you might see. Everything sits correct. it sit and then the cl ratchet claw we have to press it down there and okay there's something okay maybe it's just better to put a, to take off the uh, the nameplate here, so to better see what's actually going on. Hmm. So there, oh, 
there are two tubes so here we are now then <laughs> this uh, bloody spring goes in <laughs> again okay too much grease too much grease <laughs> yeah you can hear the click is is really good now okay have a good finger on here and I mean it should be possible Here we are. So now it seems like it's working. Don't move anything. And then the mount comes on. Can only sit one way. And as I remember, there was something that was not correct in the position. As you can see here, something is wrong. Okay, here we are. I think it's fine for now. Yeah. No, not really. It's not correct. I think it's uh, oh yeah, it's one of the spring the the bayonet spring that's not sit correct, so it has to be adjusted a little, a little. something like that. And also this one. There. Not much. And the last one. That was the, the thing that was not correct, I guess. Whew. Now, on with the mount. Hopefully. So now you see that was uh, that was the issue because uh, the um, bayonet spring was not sitting correct. So now we can just assemble the rest of it. was uh, unexpected <laughs> but of course I mean the repair manual does not tell 
about that, that you have to be careful. But uh, we fix it anyway. So now it's uh, it's fine. Wow, see snappy. It it will uh, it will do the work. I mean the job as it should. Then the small spacers here. And the nameplate. The two screws. So So we're only missing the the little the little plate front plate hole cover. <laughs> yeah, of course they has to have a name. Go there. Mm -hmm. So now we oh, just have the mirror down again. That thousand a second and something like yeah. I mean, it works as it should. Much better. I mean, the mirror is a little slow, in my opinion, but for now, it's it's not a big problem. I mean, I also have to fix the the uh, exposure scale. I guess it's called inside the. So let's see some glue, just a tiny amount, because I will open the camera anyway another day. There will not be much. That's it, and some glue here, just a tiny amount. Mm -hmm. Is that fine? Put on the the little plate. On with the leather. The self timer lever and the screw for that. And then we are done. It has ha have a hard life, this camera, I guess. <laughs> so, that's it. So now I have a much better working um, shutter speed scale and of course the ASA that you actually can move. It has to be a little tight in my opinion so it will not just fool around. But so it is. That's all for me and uh, yeah that's all.
<laughs> it works as it should. And um, maybe the self timer too. Hmm. Yeah, gosh, it works. <laughs> I mean, this, the mirrors shouldn't flip up. So uh, <laughs> there's something wrong inside here. But that's maybe another video. That's all for me. Bye bye.